In this video, I'll show you how to add some extra shine to your photos. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link for this photo in the video description. Adding shine is very easy. To start, let's go to our adjustments and apply a curves adjustment. I'm going to raise this curve to brighten this photo quite a bit. Then I'll close out of this. So to blend this in, I only want this to affect the highlights in the photo, and we can use blend ranges to do that. So let's open that up. I only want to add shine to the highlights in the photo, not the shadows. That way, these nice dark shadows can keep their dark contrast. So, I need to remove this from the shadows by lowering the shadows node. Then, we can move this over to the right side to affect the highlights less and less. I like to use a lot of layers to apply brightness to specific areas, so I'm only going to use this layer for the face. So, I'm going to watch her face, and I'm going to move this until we have some nice, beautiful, evenly lit highlights over her face. Okay, so I think that looks good for her face. So now, to apply this only to her face, I'm going to invert this layer. So I'll press Ctrl-I on a PC or Command-I on a Mac to invert this layer. Then I'll grab my paintbrush and I'll paint in a nice low flow in white paint to reveal this on the black mask. You can use the bracket keys on your keyboard to make your brush larger or smaller. Maybe I'll also bring it down onto her neck and collarbone area as well. And now you can see what this looks like. Here's the before and the after of adding that shine. Of course, this picture would look a lot better if we add even more shine to different areas, so let's repeat this for the hair and her jewelry. I'll start by adding another curves adjustment, and I'll make this nice and bright. Then I'll go into our blend ranges, and I'll lower the shadows node. And for this one, I'll just watch the hair. I think that looks pretty good, so I'll stop it right there. I'll invert this layer. And then I'll paint in white just over the hair. I'm overpainting onto the edges a little bit, just so these little hairs that are flying can look even brighter. And now you can see the before and after of that. And let's do this one last time. I'll make this nice and bright. And this time we're going to apply it to her jewelry, so her earring and her rings here. So I'll lower this, watching those areas to make sure they're nice and shiny. And I think for this one, I'll actually keep it over here, just so we can get extra shine on those. I'll invert this layer. Then I'll just zoom in, and I'll paint it over those areas. Here is the before and after of that. I think that looks really nice. Okay, we're on to our final step. I actually like to add a little bit more darkness to the photo too. If we have really bright areas and we make the surrounding areas dark, it will make the bright areas look even more bright and shiny. So I'm going to add a curves adjustment and I'll make this nice and dark. Then I'll go into our blend ranges, so I can remove this from the highlights. I only want the shadows to have this depth. Alright, I'll just invert this. And then, using my paintbrush, I'm just going to paint this over areas where I want a little extra shadow. 
So her hair is a little bit bright in some areas, so I'm going to paint this extra on the hair. For her face, it's always nice to add a little bit of darkness to eyebrows and eyelashes. If you want, you can add this darkness to the lips as well, just to add contrast there. All right, and I think that looks pretty nice. Now I'll just select all of our layers by holding shift and clicking, and you can see the complete before and after. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.